हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिकल लेंस बाय नमिता इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री अ पीक बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट ऑफ ग्रेट सेवन मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ द न्यू एन सी आर टेक्सट बुक गणित प्रकाश सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज गिवन इन दिस चैप्टर सो इट स्टार्ट विद द नीड फॉर स्मॉलर यूनिट्स वाई डू वी नीड स्मॉलर यूनिट्स राइट सो हियर you can see a picture sonu and his mother are shown right so sonu's mother was uh, fixing a toy and she was trying to join two pieces with the help of a screw so sonu was watching with uh, his mother with very great curiosity uh, and his mother was unable to join the pieces so he asked why his mother said that the screw was not of the right size so she brought another screw she tried with another uh, screw from the box and then she was able to do it now when sonu looked at the two screws they looked very similar to him but how uh, you can differentiate which is smaller which is greater right but when he observed them closely he saw that they were slightly of different length okay so you can see the picture given over here see the two nails and see the length okay so there is a slight variation now sonu was very fascinated that how the small difference in the length could matter so much one was able to fix the toy the other was not right so he was uh, very curious and he wanted to know more about this length and the scale which is to be used right so now let us try to understand there are some nails more nails go given over here and with this examples let us try to understand the difference in the uh, smaller units and the difference in the sizes of the nail right so if you can see the first picture here you can see first picture the nail size is between 2 cm and 3 cm okay in the second picture you can there is one more line between 2 and 3 which is half the way so you can say that the nail size is a little more than 2 and half right but less than 3 of course right so this is more specific compared to the first picture okay all three nails are of the same length now when you see the third picture you can exactly say that it is 2 whole and 7 upon 10 right how do you count that this is the middle line that is 5 and 6 and 7 so 2 whole 7 upon 10 cm is the length of the nail right so you can see if you compare all the three scales which scale helped you measure the length of the screws accurately naturally the third scale this scale okay now let us try to answer the questions or write the length of the three uh, nails given over here the different scale now this another nail is given or another screw is given so if you look at the first picture you can see that the length of this screw is between 3 and 4 or you can say it is more than 3 so you can write it is between 3 and 4 but you can't say exactly how much it is it is between 3 and 4 now if you look at the second picture you can see the half sign here the smaller line which is drawn over here. so you can say here that it is more than 3 more than 3 but it is less than what 4 or you can write more specific it is more than but less than 3 and half okay you can see it is less than and half 
same two meters, right? Don't forget to write units all the time. You are also three and four centimeter. That's very important. Now, if you see the last picture, you can say exactly where it is. You can just count the smaller lines after three, one, and two. So, you can write it as three whole and two upon ten centimeters. Okay. So, how? Uh, why are you saying this too? If you observe very closely, there are ten parts between each number. That's why we are writing two out of ten. Right. So. They have asked which scale helped you to measure the length of the screw accurately. So it is the third scale in this case. Also in this case, the third scale is helping us to measure. And why? Why is that so? So we can write that. We can write the last scale or the third scale. And the reason you write will be. As it is divided as it is divided into ten equal parts. Equal parts. Okay, this is the answer you will write. Now let us see. They have asked us, what is the meaning of two holes seven upon ten centimeter, the length of the first screw, right? This one. So what does it mean? As seen in the ruler, if you see the ruler, the unit length between two consecutive number it is divided into ten parts. Between zero and one there are ten parts. Between one and two there are ten parts. Between two and three there are ten parts. So you can see here two is whole two centimeter. And after that, it is on the seventh line, so seven upon ten centimeter to two centimeter and seven upon ten centimeter, right? So you can write it as two whole seven upon ten centimeter, or you can read it as two and seven tenth centimeter. Okay, this is the left hand side screw, and similarly the right hand side screw. If you see, three holes are there, so one, two, three whole parts. And there are two out of the ten parts, so three whole two upon ten centimeter. So three and two tenth centimeter. So this is how you read. So can you explain why the unit was divided into smaller parts to measure the screw? Now earlier also we could get an idea about the screws that you can get an idea between whether it is between two and three. Three and four, or between between two and uh, two and half, or three and three and half, but you were not able to say it exactly. But when it was divided into smaller parts, we could get the accurate answer. So why do we divide it further to get accurate measurement? So here uh, they have asked you to uh, measure the following objects using a scale. So this you can do as an activity in the class. You can measure your pen, sharpener, any any other object. The scale which you have in your geometry box, it is exactly as the last scale which we just saw. It has ten parts. You just observe it carefully. Each centimeter is divided into ten equal parts. So you will be able to give exact. Measurement, right? Now there are some objects given in the next picture, next page. There are some pictures given, so we need to find out the exact measurement of these objects. So let us see. The first object is an eraser. You can see how many holes are there. Like two centimeter is complete, and the eraser here, the red line, it is between two and three. If we count the smaller lines, one, two, three, four. So out of ten, four parts. So you will write. You can write this as two whole, four upon ten, right? So two whole, four upon ten 
centimeter. That's the length of the eraser. If we see the second object, that is the pencil, you can see here it is four holes. So we can just write down four hole, and then it is exactly in the middle, a little bigger line. Five will always be a little bigger line compared to a little darker also compared to the other four lines, right? So four hole, five upon ten. So it's easy for you to count and also to identify, right? So this is four hole, five upon ten centimeters. And if we see the third object, it is one hole, you can say, and again, fourth line. So one hole, four upon ten centimeters. Right? So, as seen here, where exact measures are required, we can use smaller units of measurement. Right? When, where exact measurements are not required, it is absolutely fine. A tenth part. So, the length of the pencil shown below is, you can see, three hole and fourth line. So, three hole for a point ten. So that is, you can say, three units, three complete units, and four one-tenth. So four into one-tenth means out of ten, in the four parts, right? So here, if you observe the smaller parts, each z between zero and one, there are ten parts. It is ten times one upon ten, right? So ten upon ten is equal to one unit. So you can say this one unit is divided into 10 equal parts. So if we consider this as 10 parts, this another as 10 parts, the third one as 10 parts, so this till here it is 30 parts and four more parts. So you can say that the length of the pencil is 34 one tenth. Do you agree? Because 10 one tenth units make one unit, right? So just see this here. We can, instead of writing 3 whole 4 upon 10, you can also understand that there are 10 parts. So this is 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10, 30 and then 4. So total 34 1 tenth units. Okay, because 10 1 tenth makes 1 unit. So this is another way of reading the number. Okay, so you can see the explanation. So 34 into 1 upon 10 because there are 34 tenth part, 34 upon 10, or you can say 10 upon 10 plus 10 upon 10 plus 10 upon 10, each is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, so this is 3, and 4 upon 10, so it becomes 34, 1, 10, or 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 upon 10, that is 3, and 4, 1, 10, right? So these are different ways of reading the same number. Now let us see further a few Numbers with fractional units are shown below along with how to read them. So if it is written as 4 whole 1 upon 10, so 4 and 1 tenth. This is read as 4 and 1 tenth. If it is just 4 upon 10, that is 4 1 tenth or 4 tenths, right? Or you can read it as this one, third number, 41 upon 10. So 41 upon 10 means 41 1 tenth. Right, 41 times 1 10 or 41 10. Okay, and the last one is 41 whole 1 upon 10. So it is read as 41 and 1 10. Okay. So here some objects are shown below and they have given an example of the USB cable. They have given two ways of writing the length of the USB cable that is 4 whole 8 upon 10 and 48 upon 10. Right. So we need to write down the length of different objects given over here uh, in two different ways. So first if we start with this now little finger you can see it is one whole and then one, two, three, th third line. So we can write it as one whole three upon ten or which is equal to you can say this is ten plus three thirteen. So thirteen upon ten units. 
you are they have not given which uh, unit it is uh, centimeter meter so we'll just write units it is very important to write units if we see the other object over here it is two hole right the scale is standing and it is eight line so you can write it as two hole eight upon ten which is equal to 28 upon 10 right so you can just count this as 10 10 20 and plus 8 so 28 upon 10 both are same now if we see the leaf right so here if we see the leaf there are 10 hole and then exactly it is at 9 you can just see one line before 11 so for the leaf you can write it as 10 hole I'm writing it below it 10 hole 9 upon 10 this is 10 not 16 and or you can write it as these are 10 10 parts so 100 so 109 which is equal to 109 upon 10. Why 109? Because 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. This is 100. And these smaller lines 9. So it is 109 upon 10. Right? So this is the way you will write in two different ways. Now they have also given question based on this. So let us try to solve them. Arrange these lengths in increasing order. So, now they are given in both the ways. Uh, some are given in uh, one way, the others are given in the other way. We have learned two ways, right? So, then it is difficult to compare. So, what we can do here, we can convert all of them into the same. Same way of writing, like, here you can say this is 9 upon 10. Okay, this is 1 whole 7 upon 10. This is 130 upon 10. Now this is equal to 13. If you write it uh, in the fractional form, it will be 0 upon 10. So we are not writing that. So this is 13 whole. And these are all remaining are okay. Now it is easy to compare. So first we see the ones which are without the whole part. So 9 upon 10 and 4 upon 10, the first and the last one. So if you want to write in increasing order, so the smallest would be 4 upon 10, right? And the next would be 9 upon 10, okay? Now if we go further, you see the whole part. Now out of whole part, this is 1, this is 10, 7, 6, this is 13, and this is also 13. So naturally one whole will be after this, 1 whole 7 upon 10. Now there are next whole part is 6. So next would be 6 whole 7 upon 10. After 6 comes 7. So we write the 7 whole 6 upon 10. Okay. Then comes after 7. Here it is 10 whole. So 10 whole 5 upon 10. Okay. Now here this is 13 and this is 13 whole 1 upon 10. So naturally 13 whole is smaller than 13 whole 1 upon 10. Mostly the confusion between will be between these two numbers. Otherwise it's easy. Right. So this is 13 whole and this is 13 whole and after that there is one more line if you imagine the scale. So this is the increasing order of the numbers or the lengths which are given over here. Okay. So now we uh, we will continue the chapter in the next video. We have completed till page number 49. Thank you.